Hey guys, Ken Ross here. I'm a business consultant that specializes in reducing costs for businesses by looking at their essential expenses. And today I have a follow-up today. I have a follow-up on my previous video where I talk about Verizon's home internet. I really appreciate your comments in the comments section below. I've gotten into a lot of great discussion about it and wanted to talk briefly about some of the things that I've been doing as a result of your comments. And so let's get right into it. First thing I'd like to talk about is why I feel there is this convergence. I talked about this previously and I touched upon it before. Telecommunications providers are really trying to consolidate the space of telecommunications and this is a very good example of that. You're starting to see that in this particular home internet solution and that's why I created the video. That's why I wanted to talk about it specifically. Okay, the next point is I happened to do some more research. I looked around for some other creators who may have uh, actually installed Verizon home internet and I wanted to, to give my feedback on what I'm seeing. So it looks like to me, from what I can tell of some folks that have actually had the chance to set this up and actually do it, is you are helping Verizon in its effort to be more convergent on telecommunications technology. The reason I say that is I went to Scott's Smart Home channel and I'll post a link to his channel and a couple of his videos that I checked out on his channel about 5G home internet from Verizon. And I would imagine that some of these same principles apply to T-Mobile, but I need to do more research on T-Mobile before I can give you some answers to that. So one of the first things I wanna talk about is his setup video. He posts a video right when he gets his Verizon home internet and he actually posts some statistics about his performance and this is a very key point about his video he talks about the performance during the day versus at night when there's peak usage and if you see in his video the up, upload and download speeds that he is he's advertised or he's actually getting in those particular cases his download speeds are heavily degraded during peak use times upwards of 50% at times, which is something I know for myself is I couldn't tolerate that. I couldn't go, I couldn't say that that's a reliable, speedy connection, but for what he's using it for and the application that he's coming from, this is a viable option for him because the, the latency is still pretty low relatively and he's still getting decent download speeds and his upload speeds haven't changed much. He's paying upwards of $50 a month and I asked him this on his initial setup video so it's $55 with taxes and fees no it's $50 plus taxes and fees for his particular plan and that isn't something I think is is worth it in the end and now I'm, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit here but but ultimately I think that's that's unfair uh, when it comes to the value of internet these days there are a lot of high-speed solutions and I talked about this and I know it's not available to everyone and I understand that there are some challenges with that but I am I am very so diligent to help you understand that there are many options and you need to fight really hard to get the fastest speeds for the comparable price. 300 megs down and 20 up is just something I am not in the game to tell you you should pay $50 a month for. And in my experience as a cost reduction specialist, as somebody who looks at these things all the time, that is horrible performance for the price you should be able to garner some respect in this in this in this market and ultimately at $25 a month like like they advertise with auto pay and a Verizon subscription you're paying about what you should pay if you had it as a solo service you would pay around that for a decent for that kind of speeds we're, we're talking DSL level download potentially and um, upload speeds you know three or four times that of DSL technology and that's something I think um, we're, we're well behind we're well behind on, on this curve as far as if you're in a rural area or even if you're in a city right Verizon home internet isn't something that's going to be uh, revolutionary gig speeds and even higher-end 
cable internet speeds that go over fiber channels is is very much mature and uh, cost cost performant in the sense that if you put fifty dollars a month towards a cable provider's plan you're going to get more reliable speeds at peak times you'll still get that 300 down you may even get 50 up so in comparison if you look at something like cable internet service provider plans such as a cox communications or xfinity or comcast plans you can achieve these same types of speeds reliably even at peak times for about the same amount of money and i would i would challenge scott's smart home to actually interface with this cable provider and get that get that cost reduction that is something he hasn't really talked about much on his channel as to whether or not he's tried to negotiate his his telecommunications plan his internet plan because i believe he's left a lot of money on the table i, I think if if Comcast or Cox Communications, I believe he said he had Cox Communications, if they were to call him and they were to actually ask him, well, what, what speeds are you getting now and uh, who's your provider now? And he tells them, oh, I'm using this Verizon solution and it's, it's amazing. The, the cable provider would provide him a, a much more amazing experience reliably even in the peak times for the same cost and this is what I'm talking about when it comes to convergence as well as the level of competition in this space we are really getting into a place where a wireless provider can provide you internet not only on your phone but in your house and there is a seamless experience there you do not notice a difference in degradation of speeds or quality or any of those types of things because we are in the 5G world now. The Internet of Things technology. And I am very much aware that this is going on. I've been doing a lot of research about how the technology works. Uh, millimeter wave technology is something that um, has been around for a long time. If you're a fan of Bluetooth, it's the same type of technology. But when we add it to the space of 5G, what you are doing when you invest in home home internet from Verizon or T-Mobile or any of these other things is you are contributing to the Internet of Things technology. And this is why they offer you the device for free. This is why they say there are no device fees. Really, I believe it's rolled into the cost of the device based on the uh, cost of your service, I'm sorry, based on the plan that you're in because you're contributing to that that technology when you get verizon home internet you're not just sharing internet plans with everyone else who has a cell phone you're actually contributing to helping cell phone coverage and uh, all of these internet of technology things to communicate with each other and that's something you need to be aware of do you want to help Verizon or T-Mobile or any of these other com communications companies develop their network by putting their device in your home and finding a nice place in your, you know or, or, you know by your window so that others can use your signal as they're driving through your neighborhood i don't know about that necessarily i don't know if that's something i'm willing to contribute to just yet because i want to understand more of the technology and that's something i want you guys to be aware of is to say hey you know there are always benefits to every but understand what the what the cons are what the what the, the side benefits are for the company and know that they are actually taking advantage of this as well if you understand this technology if you understand how any of this stuff is working you want to know this so that you can be better prepared to to understand the level of investment that they have not only in you but you have in them and what it is that you deserve what it is that you deserve as a result of that so that's all i have for today please stay tuned to this channel i'm going to do some more follow-ups i'm actually going to do some research into t-mobile solution um, to see some of the differences there i would imagine that there are a lot of similarities um, and i would love it if you actually own a t-mobile home internet service 
if you could reach out to me on the comment section below or you could actually help me if you you want to produce a video yourself or you have a channel where you unbox the t-mobile experience you talked about the speeds there i'd love to see that because i don't have the ability to set any of this stuff up i can't do any other research myself so um, please stay tuned to this channel and uh, we'll talk more